out there with Lilani Simon and uh, in the Quentin Simon case. And this was a 20 month old child that was killed at the hands of his mother. And everybody kept trying to say it was uh, an accident that she must have left this child. She must have got you know, whatever and left this child in a tub, let the child go drown in the pool. And we got in, into town and we knew very, very quickly that would not be the case. Um, we took a lot of heat for our um, analysis of this case, but nobody else was out there but Dolly and myself until, you know, we, we did call some some support in and thank God for that because I can tell you uh, personally that I'm very thankful that Chronicles of Olivia came out there. Uh, I'm very thankful that uh, Marissa, um, ICU, House of Williams, Justice for All, uh, as well as all the people that came out there to support us and support this child. It was very hard for me to sit out there knowing that a woman that did such horrible things to her child was still able to sleep in her bed, even though law enforcement had enough evidence at that moment to arrest her. She was on double probation. She failed her drug test. There was no excuse for her not being in jail. And I could not understand it and we're still going. Do we have a Karen here? While we're doing this, the um, their, their, their prosecuting office is about to receive, receive a, a cease and desist letter from Bullhorn Betty and Bullhorn Betty Channel. And, uh, and that's going to be going out literally in the next day or two, because I have just had it. And uh, their comments are disgusting. And um, it, it, they're trying to say, you're, they're trying to do everything they can to keep this. Listen, I, I, I don't want my rights violated so you can keep your case, your file, your trial in your county. You, there's laws in place for everything. And now all these judges are going to these erroneous gag orders that are in violation of the law. And judges are held to the same standard as the rest of the American people. You have to abide by the law. So I don't know quite how I'm going to handle it, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to be there every single day, whether I can live stream or not, when her trial is going on. And that's something that the judge cannot fucking prevent. Excuse my language. And I shouldn't even say the judge. I should say, I should say the prosecutor. The prosecutor can't stop me. I don't do anything wrong. That was a tragedy. And, 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 and their police chief sucks. And obviously their whole entire government sucks. So either way, either way, you will not trample on my rights. And if you do try to push, I push back. So I'm just, this is a warning for Chatham County. You guys step on my rights, I push back. You don't do that. You don't do that to anybody. So I'm done with my tyrant.